President Donald Trump revealed in his financial disclosure form that he reimbursed Michael Cohen for loans of between $100.00 and $250,000, paying back for expenses the man who says he paid porn star Stormy Daniels. The form notes that expenses were incurred by one of Donald J. Trump's attorneys, and Trump disclosed it in the interest of transparency. It was contained in a line beneath the section where large bank loans of as much as $50 million were listed. The disclosure comes after Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani said on television that Trump reimbursed Cohen for the payment after Cohen made it on his own to try to keep the Stormy Daniels claim from coming out, then walked back the statement. Cohen negotiated a non-disclosure agreement wide former porn star who says she had an affair with Trump. The agreement used pseudonyms and required she not speak about the alleged affair, which Trump denies. It is signed by Cohen and Daniels, but not by Trump, although the pseudonym David Dennison refers to him. According to the president's required annual filing, Trump indicated he did not have to disclose the loan, although ethics experts said beforehand that he did, citing the requirement to disclose all debts over $10,000. In the interest of transparency, while not required to be disclosed as reportable liabilities on Part 8, in 2016 expenses were incurred by one of Donald J. Trump's attorneys, Michael Cohen, according to Trump's form. Mr. Cohen sought reimbursement of those expenses and Mr. Trump fully reimbursed Mr. Cohen in 2017. The category of value would be $100,001, $250,000, and the interest rate would be zero. The acting head of the Office of Government Ethics says Trump should have disclosed the loan last year and forwarded the president's form to the Justice Department. Acting Director David Apoll wrote Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein alerting him to the issue. Oge has concluded that, based on the information provided as a note to Part 8, the payment made by Mr. Cohen is required to be reported as a liability, he wrote Rosenstein, who is also overseeing the Russia probe. You may find the disclosure relevant to any inquiry you may be pursuing regarding the president's prior report that was signed on June 14, 2017, he wrote. Trump filed his form Tuesday amid anticipation about whether he would disclose a loan to Cohen, who made the $130,000 payment to porn star Stormy Daniels. President Trump and Vice President Pence file their financial disclosure forms with the Office of Government Ethics today, May 15. The forms will be available through the Office of Government Ethics, White House Deputy Press Secretary Lindsey Walters said in a brief statement Tuesday. Trump's disclosure, which includes all of 2017 and part of 2018, was being closely watched by ethics experts to see whether he will disclose the $130,000 paid to porn star Stormy Daniels on his behalf by his attorney Michael Cohen. The upcoming report will also be the first extended look at how Trump's businesses have performed since he became president in January of last year. The president is required to fill out the form as thousands of other federal government employees. But Trump's case this year is of particular interest because of the Stormy Daniels saga and statements by his own representatives and his own claims on Twitter. Boxing Trump in is a statement by former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, the newest member of his legal team, who made stunning revelations about the payment in an interview with Fox News. He said the money was funneled through a law firm and the president repaid it earlier this month in an appearance on Sean Hannity's show. After a slew of Giuliani TV appearances that put Trump in potential jeopardy, the president said Giuliani would get his facts straight. If the $130,000 was in fact a loan from Cohen, Trump would be obliged to report it. Walter Schaub, the former head of the Office of Government Ethics, wrote on Twitter Tuesday, Today's the day. No more sleeps until the president's financial disclosure report is due. He must finally come clean about his debt to Cohen for the Stormy Daniels payment. And any others. There are no loopholes. Trump did not reveal the payments on his 2017 form. Trump told reporters earlier this year aboard Air Force One that he didn't know about the loan. If he didn't know about the 2016 loan until later in 2017 for some reason, 
he would still have to disclose it now. Wrote Schaub in USA Today, the question is whether Trump will disclose the debt, as well as any others he might have omitted, Schaub wrote. The answer should be easy, but the president is in a difficult position. He left out the Daniels related debt in the financial disclosure report he filed on June 14, 2017. If, however, it was something Cohen did on his own to benefit the Trump campaign, it could implicate campaign finance laws which provide strict limits on contributions and have their own disclosure requirements. Trump's previous report, covering January 2016 through the first few months of 2017, showed he had at least $1.4 billion in assets and at least $594 million in income. President Donald Trump has submitted his annual financial disclosure to the U.S. Office of Government Ethics, and it is expected to be released publicly in the coming days. Trump's disclosure, which includes all of 2017 and part of 2018, is being closely watched by ethics experts to see whether he will disclose the $130,000 paid to porn star Stormy Daniels on his behalf by his attorney Michael Cohen. The upcoming report will also be the first extended look at how Trump's businesses have performed since he became president in January of last year. Trump's previous report, covering January 2016 through the first few months of 2017, showed he had at least $1.00. 